Hey everybody, so we've been here going on two weeks now. Can't believe it's gone by that fast. Um, just gonna give you a quick tour of what we've got going on so far and what all we've done. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around that way you guys can see. All right, so you can see the barn over there. Don't mind all of the junk piled. We're um, slowly clearing that all out. Um, we have taken probably 10 trailer fulls to the dump already. Um, funny thing about here is you have to pay to dump. So the cheapest load we've had so far is about $40. Um, this is our dog run over here. We did this the first week that we were here so that we could let our dogs outside before getting to know the property. Um, we weren't comfortable with just letting them run. So this is the front of the house. Scanning across here, front door, large window in the living room. And again, please don't mind the piles. Um, underneath that tarp is all of the things that will be going into the barn once it's cleaned out. So I'll take you over here to, into the barn so you can see in there. They left us a, a nice car. Um, right now we're piling all of our metal just around this car. There's a local gentleman that's gonna come and pick it all up for us once we've got it all piled. Um, this is our newest purchase. This is our tractor, um, kindly named Clifford, a uh, big red tractor instead of big red dog. So in here, this was basically where the previous owners kept their garbage. So it was bags and bags of trash covered in a tarp, followed by another layer of garbage, followed by another tarp. Um, we were able to get it all cleaned out for the most part. There's still debris that we have to clean up. But under here, there's a huge pile of what I think is iron ore. Not exactly sure. I'll have to do a little bit more research um, but that might be something neat to have in the future. All right, and here is the barn. So it is currently six stalls. Right now we just have some yard tools in this one. We keep our four-wheeler here. There is a loft you can see up there. Uh, this is the digger attachment to our tractor. This is the one stall that we have yet to clean out. Um, this is about the extent of what every stall looks like when we got here. It appears that maybe this property was used as a rental at one time. And so every time someone moved out, all of the things that were left were just thrown into a stall. So we're getting this cleaned out. Back here is another building that we're going to clean up on the inside and my son's gonna use for his drum set. He can make all the noise he wants to out here. So I'll show you this. So it's a little dark and dingy right now, but it could be a cool space. Got some junk piled up here. Got a pretty old bed. We haven't decided what we're gonna do with that just yet. There is power out here. So we'll get it all closed in and sealed and lights turned on for him. Come down this way. There's a trail, which we're calling the hunting trail. I'm not gonna walk all the way down there today, but we'll do that another time. 
I don't know if you can see, but it goes all the way down there through that trail. And at the bottom of the trail, from satellite pictures, we can see a pretty decent pond. We haven't quite made it down there yet. So if you can see all of this, this is what everything looked like when we first got here. Really overgrown, the weeds and grasses above my head. We're gonna walk back through the barn and I'm gonna take you into the back of the property and show you everything that we've been clearing so far. So it's a really neat property. Um, driveway coming in is about a quarter mile long off the road. You can't see the house at all. And once you're back here, you really feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Um, so it's really neat. I'm gonna walk around the dog run and down the hill into the back. Here we go down the hill. I can't, don't know if you can tell how steep that is, but it's pretty steep. All in here, you see blackberries. There are blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries everywhere. So this is what we've cleared so far all the way through. And we've got some work to do. And I don't know if you can hear the sound in the background, but that is actually my husband with the bush hog back there still clearing. We'll go down this way. We found all kinds of neat things going through. So here's a couple big rolls of fence that were tangled up in the briars. So we were able to pull those out. As you can see all the way through. And if you come back, we unearthed a pretty decent chicken coop. Um, it's in good shape. So I just have to go in and pull some vines that have grown up inside of it and re-fence with chicken wire so that the birds are protected. And we'll keep our laying hens out here. This is the chicken coop. Not a bad setup here. And then if you can see through over there, that is a second barn on the property. It's newer. We'll go over that way in just a minute. There's an old gate here. The plan is to have our greenhouse run right through the middle here. And then we'll run our meat birds and pigs up and down one side of the greenhouse and rotate each year. Spin back around here. Right. So that's the back side of the other barn. And then we'll walk through over here the back of the house there up the hill. We still have some brambles to clear out here. And we're going to walk towards the sound of the bush hog. I apologize for that. Again, what's in front of you is about what all of the property looked like before we started clearing. really high. Those weeds there are probably six feet tall. I'm not sure if you can tell from the video. There's more 
Not sure what that is just yet. We'll get to it. I, mean, I don't know whether it's a bench or... I'm not sure. Alright, so this is the second barn. Again, full of things. So, we have a pool ladder, a creepy clown head, some vines trying to creep in, Apparently, whoever was here was a big supporter of Rand Paul because his signs are everywhere. Either that or they drove around taking them all down, one of the two. So you can see there's a back door there and a loft up here. So we'll get up there eventually and see what all we've got hidden up there. And go back out. And then this trail goes along the back of the property, um, up against the, the cliff. I'll try to show you, if you look down there, it's a pretty good drop off. Um, what you're thinking is the tops of bushes are actually the tops of trees, about 20 or 30 feet down. through so this trail is all cleared out and again you can see down the cliff there pretty steep and this goes all the way down along the back side of the property there's several layers to this land it's been tiered at one point give you access to as much of it to use as possible. It's really pretty out here, really quiet. You'll hear the occasional chicken or rooster from the neighbors, although the neighbors are really far away. This is it here, all the way down there. We'll head on back up and I'll show you the other side where my husband is cutting right now. into cleared land. I'm gonna go up this hill. So this is what he's gotten done yesterday. All of this. a man-made pond with a fish tank in the middle of it not sure how that happened but we'll get it all cleaned out all right we're gonna keep coming get a little deck off the back of the house there tire swing We are at the top of the hill, and you can see back down. So we've gotten quite a lot done. We'll head inside. I'll show you a little bit. Um, the house is definitely a fixer. It is in need of a brand new roof. Um, some of the windows need to be replaced. 
you can see here this isn't the correct size for the opening in the house so that needs to be taken care of and I'll show you the other side of that when we get in there we've got some broken windows with plywood here Going in. Mind my dogs. And this is the state of the living room at the moment. We have not unpacked everything because we know that we'll be tearing apart and redoing each room. But this is what we have and around into the kitchen that's pretty interesting but it is functional so and then this is the window that I just showed you from the outside and I don't know if you can tell but this is actually sheet metal screwed into the wall and lined with duct tape and no we did not do this it was like that when we got here um, the refrigerator is old, but it does work. Not exactly sure what they were going with for the cabinets here. Um, but, again, it is functional, although it is not very pretty. So we are making do. In through here is the master bedroom. <laughs> this is all of our Christmas stuff that we have stacked up here, nowhere to put it just yet. I have a makeshift closet. Two big, nice windows that'll be good once they're trimmed out. All of this paneling that you see on the walls, um, although it is pretty, it is not installed properly. Um, it's very loose. You could really just pull it right off the wall. Um, so we will be taking that down. May put it back up in specific areas, but not the entire house. So this here is laundry room. Um, eventually this will be a master bedroom walk-in closet. Um, the water heater will be leaving and we'll be installing a Renai. I'm not sure if anyone has used those before, but they are amazing. Hot water on demand, less on your electric bill. Um, washer and dryers probably going to be moved into the other bathroom because it is gigantic so and then down here is the master bathroom again we don't have a whole lot of storage so this is what we've got going on here all right Back down through here. It's my son's room. And there's another bedroom and a bathroom on that side of the house. But my daughter is still asleep, so we'll leave her alone. Go back out. You can see a stone retaining wall that kind of goes around the front porch area. We do have our grill and an extra refrigerator sitting here right now. Um, all of that will be moved once those areas are cleaned up. So this is it. Um, I will keep you updated as we get things done. Um, this is gonna be a long process, but absolutely worth it. Um, some of you know the move was a, a little spur of the moment. Um, we just decided we were gonna go. We bought this place sight unseen. Um, besides a, a video walkthrough we did with the agent. Um, who was really good at 
showing us everything. She didn't leave anything out. So we really knew exactly what we were getting into, which was great. So up here, the mountain goes up. We do have a neighbor in that direction, but she is at the top of the hill. We can't see or hear anything. So um, I don't know how many of you love these mimosa trees. My sister does, but they are everywhere. And then down towards the driveway. The sky here is gorgeous all the time. And it's almost like it never gets dark here. Um, I flip back real quick. So yeah, uh, the sun comes up at 5.30 in the morning, wakes us up coming through the windows, um, and it doesn't get dark until about 10.30 at night. So right now, when we're trying to work and get everything cleared, it works out really good, except you're always tired because even if you go to bed at 11 30 12 o'clock you're waking up at 5 30 no matter what um so this is it uh we're calling this our unbridled home um untamed and wild and, and we're just going for the ride so i hope all of those that watch are um, enjoying this video and if you have any questions or want to see anything else let me know and we'll keep you updated day to day as we go on have a good one bye